what it is what it is clean king aka double k back again with another tutorial first off i just want to thank everybody that gave me positive feedback in the last two videos and because of that to all the people who subscribed all the people who dropped the positive comments i'm gonna keep rolling with it bringing you more tutorials so don't forget to subscribe at the end of this video and today i'm gonna be discussing how to create a melody because i got a lot of requests on how to create a melody and how to sample a beat so probably the next tutorial will be on how to sample sorry, or the mixer so stay tuned for that but today like I said I'm gonna be talking about how to create a melody um, maybe not so much how to create one because there's no right or wrong way to create one but I'm gonna tell you my techniques and some tips that I have on how to create one to make it a little bit more simple so first off um, let's open up the, the piano roll All right, I think the hardest part of creating a melody is transferring like your idea that you have in your head you might have a sound that you have in your head and you know exactly what you want to say exactly what how you want it to sound how you want it to come out but when you try to put it down on the grid in FL something that's totally foreign to you you might not know how to do it and it comes out totally off and you just end up getting frustrated and want to shut down the program or just quit it and that's what I know a lot of people are having trouble with that's why they're coming to me asking me if I could give them some tips or at least teach them something that I'm doing on how to transfer my ideas. When I first started, I had no idea how to do it on this program. It was very difficult to understand. And that's why I'm trying to make it a little bit easier on y'all. All right, so I think the first thing to start out with, well, first off, always you start out with the sounds. The sounds can make or break a melody. You might go uh, in the studio thinking you wanna make a club beat, but you can't even find the regular sound. You spend hours looking for that sound and you're, again your idea is lost so there's no point what I do I don't go into the studio and think I'm making a club beat I'm making a gangster beat I'm making this this yada yada I go in there and just sit down pick out the beats that sound good to me at that time the sounds that sound good to me at that time whether it be keys whether it be drums anything you pick it out for that moment and I think you'll be a lot better off than if you go in there trying to make a beat the only time I ever do that is if somebody specifically is asking me and paying me to make go oh, make me a club beat make me a gangster beat those are the only times that I ever would recommend or even consider going to the studio to make a certain type of beat I just go in there do what feels good at that moment and roll with it so first off like I said you want to pick the sounds that sound good to you at that time so after you got that I already picked out a set of sounds that I want to use for this tutorial just to make it a little bit faster because I didn't want to waste 10 minutes just showing you guys what beat what sounds I wanted to pick and uh, I picked some st stringy type uh, sound fonts that I wanted to use for the keys um, alright let me just take you to the piano roll and show you a little bit of what I want to do alright when you're in the piano roll after you've selected the correct keys that you wanna that you wanna use for your your melody the first thing I I recommend doing is uh is selecting a portion on the keyboard that you're going to use at least for that certain melody like as a beginner you want to you know keep it within a range you don't want to try to use the whole entire keyboard I mean you could but you want to keep it simple just keep it simple simple is better you know what I mean so what I do the main keys that I use if you're using a keyboard it's easy it's like you're playing with your toys you're just sitting there playing with every key you hear you know it has a good feel to it but if you're using a computer keyboard the main keys that I always start with is Y U I O P those are the main that I use just as my my melody to begin with I mean that's the, I'm not saying you can't use Q W E R T any of those or the bottom keys Z X Y C but for today, I'm, I'm telling you guys, try to focus on these top row, the top row Y to P. All right, um, let me just try to create a little something. Um, I think when you're, sometimes the best thing to do is not, not only like try to go into the studio with an idea, sometimes it's better to go in there with a the blank page and just mess around with the keyboard. So, I'm just messing around a little bit, just trying to find what sound I want to use. Oh, oh. wait, I skipped one thing. Uh, the first thing I actually wanted to show you was something. Uh, you go up to Tools, 
and go down to Rift Machine. And when you open up Rift Machine, it starts playing some. It starts playing a melody for you. This is a cool little thing. Like, I'm not saying this is the best thing to use because it's not actually your original work. But for those of you who get stuck, or you know, you have your writer's block pretty much, and you cannot think of a melody that you want, that you want at that moment. This is a really good tool to use. I don't really use it. I mean, I've used it when I first started because I, it was like, oh, this is cool. I just want to practice practice my drums or see like how it looks on the screen, how it looks to be drawn out. That sound like, oh, that's how you get that high pitch to low pitch and that round off sound is when if you look at you can use this as like kind of like a teaching tool just to look at it. And so, you know, let's just hear some. I'm just going to play some of them and you press throw dice to change like the the melody that it creates you know and then once you find one that you feel like oh that's a that's a pretty good one what you can do is go over to your step sequencer well first you press accept then you go over to your step sequencer and let's say uh, you want to put it for those keys you want to use that sound but you want to give it a different sound font so you go you right click it go down to edit copy and then take it back to your keys the one that you wanted to your your sound font that you want to use right click that one edit and paste then mute the riff machine and you know give it a listen see if that's something that you wanted it to sound like, and you're like oh yeah all right that's something you can work with you know so and even beyond that, you can maybe take a few parts and delete this one, delete some of the, go in and, and alter it, you know, and change it to your own thing, your own, your own unique, your own unique melody. This is just one option. This is just something, you know, if you're really stuck, you have no idea, or you're just beginning, you just want to see what it looks like. This is a good teaching tool to see what it looks like when you actually draw out a melody. All right. After you do that, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete everything off this page just because I want to start from scratch. So cut everything. All right. I'm gonna go into my keys and just try to. Okay. Like I said, when you're in piano roll, the best thing to do is just play around. Find that. Play, mess around with the keys. See what sound sounds good to you. Another good idea is to just go ahead and hit record play your sound through you know try to make your melody play it all the way through and then once you get one you can you can stop it and be like oh that was a good one right there let me go back and look what it looks like drawn out when you hit record on there and you're recording the whole way through and you once you press stop it draws everything out for you that you played so no matter how much you play it if you press every key on the board you'll see how it looks drawn out and that will give you another idea of like as far as spacing goes when you're creating a melody because you, you know how I said you have that idea in your head that you want to transfer but you don't know how many squares you're gonna separate how many a newcomer to this program would not understand how to draw it out and uh, most of us are not classically trained to play the piano so we also wouldn't know where to place our keys so this is a good way just to play around with you might come up with the sound by accident but sometimes those are the best ideas and i don't think you have to be classically trained to play the piano to be able to work this program that's the good thing about this program is it's it's not only for people that are already musicians that know how to play. It's for people. This like simplifies it. Even though at first it may seem like, wow, this is overwhelming. I don't know, understand nothing with this program. But this actually simplifies it for people who don't know how to play the piano. So you can sit there and you can just draw it in. Oh, this sounds good here. People that use this program, we don't go off of what we see or what we feel. We go off of what we hear. So it takes you like back to the roots. The roots of music, you're just listening, it's like you're going in blind because you don't know. You can see the keyboard on the left side, but you don't know how to play the keyboard, so it just looks like a keyboard to you. It doesn't, make, it doesn't mean nothing. So if you go in here and start drawing and you start seeing it, eventually you'll learn that. Your brain will learn. Oh, you'll hear a sound and you'll be like, oh, I know how to draw that in FL. I know how to make that that sound transfer and it becomes, starts becoming second nature to you and your melodies will come quicker and quicker. Well, yep, that's all, folks time is running out so um make sure that you don't forget to subscribe rate comment and uh if you think i need to go a little bit more in depth take more time out to actually show the actual drawing of it you know just get at me i will make another part to this but make sure you hit the inbox clean king outro